Hey everyone, I'm Manar Adli, founder and editor-in-chief of Mint Press News and director of our new video project, Behind the Headlines. I have an urgent appeal to make to everyone who cares not only for our First Amendment, but for the future of our planet. Independent watchdog journalism that holds the military class accountable is under threat. With the war in Ukraine raging on and corporate media outlets pushing a pro-war agenda, we've entered wartime where having access to alternative information to the war machine is crucial to preventing escalation. The nuclear arms race is not a joke. We're experiencing an unprecedented amount of censorship, unlike anything we've seen before. Just in the last month, independent anti-war journalists have been targeted in an organized smear campaign, deplatformed, outright purged off of social media platforms, and even given state affiliate labels on their accounts. YouTube has deleted hundreds of thousands of historical videos for prominent anti-war journalists and figures, including Abby Martin, Chris Hedges, and Lee Camp, and is demonetizing political content everywhere to hit our bank accounts. Our very own fundraisers on GoFundMe were just taken down without reason and an opportunity to appeal. And this doesn't even include the past five years of being algorithmically shadow banned and targeted by big tech. These are the modern day book burners. They are trying to discredit the work of the most important dissenting voices of our time. They want to cause division and censor any information that challenges the corporate and military establishment's agenda. They want war to fill the bank accounts of the executives at Raytheon and Lockheed Martin. For the last several years, Mint Press has been at the forefront of sounding the alarm about the deep state working with Silicon Valley tech giants like Google, Facebook, and Twitter to control the free flow of information. And your news feed to ensure any sort of alternative information or narrative to the establishment algorithmically disappears. We are nowhere near backing down because the future of our planet and the prosperity of peace and justice depend on our reporting. This is why I've partnered up with the Media Freedom Foundation and Project Censored to create a new video reporting project called Behind the Headlines. To help us build this project, we will need your support. We need to raise $400,000 in the next year. So we're creating our first phase fundraiser to be stated for $200,000. And it's just a two month campaign. The goal here is to create a video platform that is 100% people funded, a nonprofit video platform with the most important dissenting names in independent media that have felt the brunt of this censorship campaign. We're working with political comedian Lee Camp and filmmaker and investigative journalist Dan Cohen. Our board includes FBI whistleblower Colleen Rowley, international human rights attorney Todd Pierce, and president of the Media Freedom Foundation, the director of Project Censored himself, Mickey Huff. Lee Camp is from a long line of political comedians from George Carlin to Bill Hicks. We're giving him a platform with full editorial freedom to write and produce his own political comedy. Lee Camp's shows are like a form of investigative comedy. They give the audience something to think about regarding key issues of the day that are often distorted in the establishment press or ignored altogether. Given the many challenges we face from the climate crisis, forever wars, and the global pandemic, it's important to laugh when and how we can. Otherwise, we'd have to just wail and cry. Lee blends wit and dark humor with quality reporting that is truly a call to action. Dan Cohen is a jack of all trades. He's an investigative journalist based in Washington, D.C., reporting from the belly of the beast. He's currently working on several guerrilla style documentaries where he traveled to the heart of conflicts targeted by U.S. imperialism and corporate pillaging. The first is a three part series about a revolution in formation in Haiti. Another is about the failures of the peace accords in Colombia. Another about resistance in Gaza and Israel's temple movement and their plans to destroy Al-Aqsa as part of an end of times prophecy. All of these issues trace back to the U.S. empire and its plots to create and maintain instability around the world. Now, in addition to the documentaries and written investigations, Dan is also leading our video investigative series called Behind the Headlines. He has exposed how corporate media is in bed with the Pentagon, the Biden administration, and much, much more. 
For far too long, some of the best and most important dissenting journalists have been forced to turn to foreign state media to produce the most groundbreaking watchdog journalism because the U.S. legacy media has completely failed the public. It specializes in producing fast food news that is sensationalized, divisive, working as a mouthpiece for the two-party duopoly, weapons manufacturers like Lockheed Martin and Raytheon and hawkish think tanks that are directly funded by NATO. We don't have a watchdog media anymore. We have an extremist corporate media beating the drums of war. So we can't rely on the legacy media in our own country to tell us what exactly is happening at home and around the world. We shouldn't have to go to foreign state media outlets to fill in those holes either. It's time that we create our own and become the media. The truth is we can't keep waiting for the oligarchy to give us a media that represents we the people. It's time we unite on a broader front of nonpartisanship that holds the elite accountable. The way journalism is defined by our first amendment to revive the fourth estate and create our very own media that goes behind the headlines. It's time that we put our money where our mouths are because our first amendment and its free press Free speech principles are all on life support. To help us build this project, we will need your support. We have to raise $400,000 in the next year. So we're going to start with this $200,000 first phase fundraiser for the next two months. And here's what it's going to support. Lee Camp's new weekly political comedy show, The Most Censored News with Lee Camp. And we're completing four documentaries by Dan Cohen. Endgame Apocalypse, Inside Israel's Temple Mount Movement and its Plans to Destroy Al-Aqsa Mosque. Israel's May 2021 Mega Assault on Gaza and the Armed Resistance that Won the War. Inside Colombia's Narco State and Diabolical Plot between the DEA and Colombian government to plunge the country in a state of civil war. And finally, we're wrapping up a three-part series inside Haiti's rising resistance movement against neoliberalism and U.S. occupation and how the U.S. is trying to quash it. We're also launching a monthly Behind the Headlines report project, an investigative video series with Dan Cohen covering the military-industrial complex, how propaganda works, and much more. We're also launching a weekly video podcast interview series with myself, Minar Adley. I hope that you will join us today. Mm-hmm.